In this video, we'll be looking at the volume of pyramids and cones. You'll see in front of you a diagram of a cube. A cube has a length, a width, and a height. And you'll also see a diagram of a pyramid. A pyramid also has a length, a width, and a height. We're curious how the volume of a cube, which is just the three dimensions multiplied together, length times width times height, compares to the volume of a pyramid. And there's an easy way to demonstrate this. We could take a pyramid and we could fill it with water and we could dump that water into a cube that has the same base dimensions, the same length and width. And we see that the water doesn't fill it all the way, so we could fill the pyramid with water again, dump it into the cube, and one more time, and dump it into the cube. And you should notice that when we're doing that, it takes exactly three pyramids to fill one cube, which means the volume of a pyramid is one-third of the volume of a cube. One-third times length times width times height. So let's use that to solve a problem. A pyramid has a length of five, a width of eight, and a height of 12 meters. can we find the volume of the pyramid? Well, volume of a pyramid is one-third times length times width times height. Or one-third times five times eight times twelve. If you multiply that all together, you should get one-third times 480 and 480 times one-third becomes 160. So this pyramid that has a length of 5 meters, a width of 8 meters, and a height of 12 meters has a volume of 160 meters cubed. Remember that volume units are cubic units. Let's look at cylinders and cones. Typically when you're working with cylinders, you'll be given a radius or a diameter and also a height. And we know that the volume of a cylinder is equal to the area of the circle, the base, which is pi r squared, times the height. So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times h. How does the volume of a cylinder compare to the volume of a cone? Well, again, if we imagine taking a cone and filling it with water, and then dumping that cone into a cylinder that has the same radius as our cone, we can see that it doesn't quite fill up the cylinder. So we'll do it again, fill up the cone, dump it into the cylinder, and again. And we notice that if we do that exactly three times, we will have filled up the cylinder, which means the volume of the cone is one-third times the volume of a cylinder, one-third times pi r squared times h. So let's try this problem. A cone has a diameter from one side to the other of 7.5 centimeters and it has a height of 12 centimeters. Let's find the volume of the cone. Well, we just saw the volume of the cone is equal to one-third times pi r squared times the height. Plugging in the numbers we know, we know the radius is 7.5 divided by 2 all squared 
the height is 12 centimeters. You should be practicing evaluating questions like this in one step on your calculator. And when I do that, I get an answer of, let's go to one decimal place, so I get an answer of 176.7, which means the volume of this cone is 176.7 centimeters cubed.